Okay, so I'm really speechless right now. A user on Reddit had the ability to sit inside the refreshed S. Yep, it happened. It actually happened. And you also have the first look at the new version 11 software. Okay, today is going to be a pizza party, I guess. Yeah, but also, as you guys know, we took a look at the pictures of a refreshed S spotted in a parking lot of an airport. Well, now we have walkthrough footage of that same exact refreshed S. So, lots and lots to talk about. Let's dive right in. Okay, first and foremost, we can get a view of the interior, the beautiful interior. This is a black interior, and we can see that ebony decor. It looks really cool, goes well with the black interior. This model does have the round steering wheel. Since Tesla hasn't gotten any updates about Nitsa's approval for the yoke steering wheel, they're going to be delivering the refreshed SNX with the round steering wheel for now on until they get an update from Nitsa if the yoke steering wheel is fine. This picture, you can see the screen is tilted a lot. So now we can see what it looks like to tilt that screen. And this is nice because now it's easier to access to the controls on the screen. So looking at this new user interface, very iOS type, looks beautiful. You got different widgets, you got your map widget, you get your mobile app widget, and you even get the music widget. And then on the bottom you have your climate controls, and to the bottom right corner you have your volume controls. And I really like this design. Right on to the left side, you can see you have some type of, you have some bell icon. I'm not so sure what that is for. We have the Wi-Fi. That's to let us know if the vehicle is connected to Wi-Fi. Then you got your time. Then you get this car icon. And I was actually thinking that was to open up the bird's eye view. But actually, it's to get your controls. You can change your driver profile. You even got some type of camera button that could be to open up the 360 bird's eye view camera. Next to that, you have the home link. Then you have that bell. And then you got your Bluetooth preferences. Then your Wi-Fi. Then you got lock. You have a control to open the front and the trunk. You even have an open charge port control. You can even control your lights, fold the mirrors, open the glove box. And you also have a neutral button. So that's probably the official way to put the car in neutral. But since it does not look like there are any force touch buttons to shift drive modes on the pad of the phone charger, I'm really hoping that the scroll wheels on the steering wheel can allow us to change drive modes. Because we now have the option to turn on smart shift or turn off smart shift. So if you turn off smart shift, then it's going to be a pain to change your drive modes on the touch screen. So I'm really hoping that the scroll wheels can allow us to change drive modes. But other than that, we have the window lock button, we have child lock, we have screen brightness, we have a dash cam button that's grayed out. That's probably to save the footage because right next to it there's a view clips button so that's to view the footage. And then right below those two we have the camera. So that's probably the backup camera. But I'm really curious to see what that camera icon is for on the top. Could that be to open the 360 bird's eye view? I don't know. Then you got your controls to adjust the mirrors and the steering wheel. We can get a look at the instrument cluster and it's gonna have that cool animations with the opening door, opening frunk and trunk. And you'll notice it also says car off. So that's interesting. But unfortunately, we can't really get to know much about the instrument clusters. We don't have a lot of photos about that. But anyways, onto the controls. Now we have for acceleration, chill, sport and insane mode. Holy guacamole! And you even have drag strip mode. And then you have a how to launch button. This is gonna be insane how quick this car is gonna be. Then you have the option to turn off or on smart shift. The automatic shifting gears. Then you have slip start. And you also have media on drive. And next to that, it says automatically open media player during drive. So I'm not really so sure what that is for, but other than that, on to the left, you have your driving, charging, autopilot, locks, suspension, lights, display, trips, a new button, navigation, safety and security, service, and software. And we have a video. So it has this very, very cool animations, which is very iOS type. 
when you press that button the menu bar slides out it's very cool smooth animations and this new user interface is lovely and beautiful we can also see these two launch we can see how fast they are that's how quick it is And I'm 95% confident that's the car automatically shifting drive modes because they had Smart Shift on. And I'm easily impressed how well it did that. I guarantee this is going to work 95% of the times. But now, let's take a look at the walkthrough footage of the refreshed S spotted in the airport parking lot. So here is the footage. You can get a look at that beautiful exterior. And we can get a look at that interior. Not everything is put together. You can see that beautiful white interior and what you'll notice is once they record the second row you'll notice that the the middle seat has pretty big bolsters so i don't know if this is going to be tough on your back or is it going to be super comfortable that middle seat can fold down too so i feel like that's going to be a little tough on your back we still have to see this car in person in order to get full details but other than that looks beautiful I noticed that the black trim is a gloss finish, where on the Model 3 and Y, it's a matte finish. We can get a look at that massive rear screen in the second row, and then we can get a view of that dashboard, the beautiful interior, look at that beautiful arachnid wheels. We also have more drone footage of refreshed S's at the Fremont factory. So here, there are less Model S's this time than in the last drone footage we saw. But you can see everything is put together and it looks like these are going to be ready for delivery soon. Hopefully the delivery start for these because there were delays for these to start. But you'll see that all of these models have the regular steering wheel. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, comment, and see you in the next one.